Hello everyone, this is Kenny Bruni from Cambridge Tech. So in this series of videos, we are going to build a blog application. Now, I'm going to call this Postcribers because scribers, writers are going to post articles, blogs onto this application. Now, there are quite a number of functionalities over here. We are going to look at them in this series of videos. So let me log out and explore some of the functionalities of this web application. All right, so I'm going to log in and if I come here, um let's say you want to create an account so we are directed onto this sign up page and let's type in a name over here so over here i'm going to say josh so this is going to be josh's email address and i'll say josh at email dot com and this is going to be josh's password I'll Type in confirm password over here. So when I click on register, George or Josh gets registered and I'm being asked to log in over here. So I need to type in the username and the password. So when I log in, I'm directed onto the main application. All right, so over here, Josh can come and view his profile. So clearly he can edit his profile over here and he can change his name maybe josh one and once he confirms now the name changes to josh one josh can make a post so let's josh make a post and i'll say josh josh post that's going to be the title and the content is the the weather is good for soccer all right and when i click on post now we have josh post displaying over here with the title josh post and the content as the weather is good for soccer so clearly this is um some aspect of the application we'll be looking at now josh can actually go and view other people's posts so for instance this is ken's post Josh can come in here and come and see Ken's post and Josh can put out a comment over here. So after reading the post, Josh can say this is a good start to learning Django. Hope I get concepts very well. All right, so now pay attention over here. Now we have comments showing up over here and the count is zero. Now when I click on send, you can see that now that we have one comment over here, the count has increased to one. And when I click on this, we can see that the comment is being displayed over here. Now, as we build this application, I'm going to do some modifications um, to other aspects of this application. So stick around with all the videos so that we see the changes that will come later on so this is the comment ken is putting up over here or sorry josh is putting up over here now when i come back and josh decides to view his profile now he can edit or delete the post because josh is the author of this post but then if josh comes back to ken's post josh has no authority to delete or edit the post over here and let me finally log out and if we try to log in apart from recreating an account there's also forget password so for instance if you forget our password when we click on this particular link we are being directed over here where we can type in our email address and a password reset will be sent to our email of which we are going to look at as we move along so this is going to be um, a breakdown of this entire application now in as much as this application may look very small you can liken it to some of the functionalities we have with facebook twitter and even instagram because clearly we can make a post we can delete a post we can edit a post we can pass a comment we can like and some of the things we see we are going to build ourselves now if you are new to my channel i am Cambro Tech, and i make videos primarily on python and django so clearly i have a number of videos over here you can check them out and some of the things I'll be talking about might have appeared in other videos, but then with a different concept, different use cases to explain the concepts. 
for instance i have over here an inventory management system application which i built and published a couple of months ago you can check this out i also have other applications where i use django volumes to render maps and the most recent ones i did was um, a newsletter session and sending um, an sms alert using julio thank you very much now if you find this tutorial very interesting there are a couple of ways you can help me grow my channel kindly subscribe to cambrotech and hit on the notification button so that anytime i release a video you'll be duly notified also share this video with friends and family who will find this content very useful at cambrotech we say learn programming you can do it also don't forget to pass in a comment like this video or ask any question that you seek clarification to thank you very much and bye bye